G'day guys and welcome to another set of Cisco practice questions uh, from Tyson on uh, from onlinecomputercoaching.com recently released that website so today I'm just going to go into a little bit about device ports on uh, this one so we'll get stuck into it straight away uh, 124 which the following represents a purpose for the serial port on a Cisco router so you connect to the LAN uh, console port WAN or modem uh, in this case, the answer is C, to connect to the WAN. Obviously, uh, connecting to the LAN, you wouldn't need a, a console port, um, sorry, a serial port, I should say, because you can just use your generic uh, Ethernet cables. And uh, modem uses a different one. And, uh, yeah, so that's that one. 125, which is the following port identifiers are used to reference a fast Ethernet port. And it tells us to select two. So um, essentially with this one, it's basically just knowing the notation of it and you'll find that uh, as you do your Cisco. Um, so looking on the top here, it's B and E. But quite simply, as you can see there, F for um, yeah, <laughs> for fast Ethernet. And then you've got uh, FA as the other notation for that one. 126, which type of cable is used to connect to the console port Crossover, straight through, null modem, or rollover. For this one, it's uh, the rollover cable, and this essentially is uh, what you can use to connect your computer to the router or switch, whatever you're configuring, and uh, consoling it into it it's that way. 127, your manager notices an aux port on the back of the Cisco router and asks you what it is used for. How would you reply? hopefully confidently, uh, to connect a CSU DSU external Ethernet interface, internal Ethernet interface, and, or to connect a modem. The answer to this one is D, to connect to a modem. And with this one, it's essentially that that is the cable. It's more so just knowing this one, and you can also uh, man configure it uh, locally as well if you've got that cable there. 128, you are performing a security audit on the network devices and have verified that the console port has a password configured. What other port should you verify has a password? Uh, fast Ethernet 001, AUX and Serial 000. So in terms of verifying other ports on, on this one, you would go with the AUX as that gets the uh, modem connected to the router itself and you can actually uh, remotely configure any settings uh, to and from the router and see if there's any sort of uh, inefficiencies there or misconfigurations. So the answer is C on that one. Moving along to 129, you are configuring the DCE end of a point to point serial link between two routers. What extra command is typed on the DCE end of the link? Clock rate, encapsulation, IP address, no shutdown. So the answer to this one is the clock rate 64,000. Uh, the no shutdown you don't need to worry about. Um, the IP address, I think they are basically talking to each other, so they don't really need to worry about that. Capsulation is not too much of a big deal. Uh, but yeah, if it's not going to the ISP uh, through the serial port, then um, we basically configure the clock rate to be 64,000, which is basically Cisco default uh, for the clock rate between those types of connections. 130 is the external CSU slash DSU connects to which port on the router? Fast Ethernet 00, uh, CON 0, OX 0, or Serial 000. So in this case, if you have a look at the answers there, we've got AUX, which is the modem, between the modem and the router. The console port is generally between the end device and uh, the router slash modem slash switch. Fast Ethernet is another, uh, I guess, port on the switch, whatever device it is. So the answer for this one is the serial link, and that essentially allows those two devices to connect to each other through like a LAN, WAN setup. 131, what type of module can be purchased to install in, in, internal CSU slash DSU into the router? So this is just another a rote learning question, just a, one of those memorization ones of the answer C, which is a WAN interface card, and that's just one of those cards you can just put into your router and uh, get it all happening there, a bit of extra functionality. And 132, you are trying to assign an IP address to the LAN port on the router and get the following message on the screen. We've got uh, interface E0, and it says uh, invalid input detected at at the uh, upside. We'll go to the upside. The power to sign, marker. You use the show version command to try to identify the problem. The output is displayed below. What is the problem? 
And we've got a little bit of a configuration point there from the shiny version, I believe. Yep, shiny version. What is the problem? Uh, so we got interface is disabled, interface type specified does not exist, you're at the wrong prompt. Interface is already configured. Uh, it's got nothing about configuration there, really, at the uh, error message screen. Uh, the wrong prompt, not really in the config area, so that's not incorrect. Uh, doesn't say anything about access or disable of it. So the answer for this one's B, the interface type does not exist. So back to this one, I suppose, once it comes up. Um, anything that says invalid detected at and then says what the message is marker will mean that the, uh, I guess, language isn't correct. So uh, as it says, their interface type specified does not exist. So they've basically got it wrong. Uh, it should be like FA or S0, basically just got the notation wrong in that case, uh, which is pretty straightforward there. 133, where is the running configuration stored? Uh, one where you just have to remember these ones. These can get pretty tricky to, to remember. Um, so the answer for this one is in VRAM, volatile random access memory. Question 134, which of the following are stored in ROM on the Cisco device? Start config, post, bootstrap, iOS, ROM on I'm going to say it's wrong one, <laughs> running config. Uh, so again, this is another one where you just sort of have to just remember and know, know uh, what would be stored in the ROM. Uh, way I like to think of it is what can be written to, and then I sort of eliminate that from the question. Start config, I reckon that can be edited. Um, running config, you can, anything that's basically configurable isn't read-only, so you can automatically eliminate those two. And then there's a couple others in there, I'm not sure. iOS, is that written to, probably. So um, that leaves us with, with three left, which is Post and Bootstrap and Roman. Essentially those three uh, things you can't necessarily write to. 135, what type of memory is shown here? VRAM, NVRAM, ROM, Flash. Well, we'll go through the process from the notion here. ROM generally is within inside the device. NVRAM and VRAM are sort of, I guess, part of the motherboard, if you like. They're in there somewhere. So that leaves us with Flash, and you've often seen Flash be a solution uh, that's yeah, it's normally uh, external to the device, so that's a big giveaway there, which has been handy. 136, which commands can you use to save the running configuration to the startup configuration? Select two, copy restart, config running config, save running config, startup config, save running config, copy running config to startup config, and write. So, this will be something you do pretty early on if you do any Cisco labs. You'll find uh, the copying to the start, <laughs> you find copying to the, the config. Uh, interesting, I found it tough at first because I'm bad at coding and stuff. So um, I know write is one of them, and I'd say D and E would be the answers for these ones. So how it looks here is it, you write out exactly what you're doing. So when you copy the running config, to the startup config, that means you're copying whatever that is, and then that then becomes the startup config. So uh, that's pretty much that, and right is another one. Question 137, when the Cisco router starts up, where does it find the Cisco iOS? Again, another question where you just have to know and remember this one, but the answer is A, NVRAM. That's simply where it is stored. Question 138, when you first boot up the Cisco router, where does it locate the startup configuration? NVRAM, RAM, ROM, Flash, again, it's just a matter of knowing which one this is. It's obviously probably not going to be ROM because the start configuration is uh, interchangeable. And it's probably not going to be RAM because then it's going to go straight away once the uh, router restarts. So, and obviously you can save the configuration, um, or modify it, I should say. So that would lead the answer to A, N, V, RAM. And that's all for today. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. So, yeah, jump on board. Uh, feel free to subscribe for more of these. And I've got uh, my website, onlinecomputercoaching.com, which has got plenty of stuff on there. Redirect a few things on here. Your blogs, podcasts, and all those sorts of things. And also got uh, a nice little resource in the description below, um, the Cisco uh, exam guide, which is a really helpful guide. looks amazing, and they, they write some really good books. So, um, yeah, I'll get a commission as well if you decide to buy one, and I'd be forever thankful if you did. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.